Beautiful night here. So today I am with you to do part three of my huge declutter project that I've undertaken with my pal Lottie. Um, I'll share the link to her channel. I'm not sure when she's posting her next update, but I do these monthly. So I think we had the first video, second video, and this is part three. So I'm not going to spend too long talking here because I do have the videos filmed um, of the items that I've decluttered. So what I do is I save them up over the month and then I film them and then I can declutter them or take them to the charity shop or give them away as I plan to do. So I'm going to go through the stats and the numbers and tell you um, where we where we were. Um, so we started, where did we start? Where did we start? We started in May. And we started obviously with 2021 items, which is when I picked it up. I think Lottie had done some on Instagram before she took this project up and it was one day you declared one item and then two days and then three. I don't think I would have been able to do that to be honest with you. I prefer doing it this way. I've got a box that all my decluttered things go in and it's really made me think about the amount of things as well that I am using and what I would repurchase again in terms of things that I've decluttered. So we started with 2021 and didn't do that amazing with my first update, it was 79 items. Luckily I had a bag of stuff for the charity shop that hadn't gone yet so I was able to include that which I think helped bulk it up a bit. Um, so we had 79 items and that took me down to 1942. Then in June I decluttered 132 which took me down to 1810. So that's a position that I find myself at the end of um, part two and going into part three and I'll let you know how much I've decluttered over the month of June but I'll tell you that at the end. So um, we're, we're getting there is all I can say is we're getting there. Um, now let me see, no, last month I actually gave away quite a lot in that big box which helped but anyway I'm going to go to July and I'm just I'm not going to talk too much here because I don't see the point because um, I'm going to be showing you the videos. However, I'm just going to go through the items that I decluttered. There were 16 items in total and I added an extra item on the end um, which aren't in the video and that's a pair of shorts that I threw out that were staves, empties. I have included those as they are part of my inventory project, project and I am trying to declutter them and use them up to make space for all the new items that I've bought which is terrible. Not the aim of my project at all. So there was 31 items in my empties this month. And in total this month, I've given away a whopping 108 items. Now, the first item was a box that I did for my sister and I put in um, some things, this mascara, the Bondi tanning water. Um, I'd also given Brandon an Elmas moisturiser and Antonia got the Revolution 5D mascara and the, the Invisible Balls. Um, there was lip gloss, tan drops, um, bits and pieces like that. Then the item that helped bulk this up was 59 items. So it was the nail polish stuff that Steve had bought two kits for Freya for when she came to stay with us. So she comes to stay with us in the summer holidays for a while, which means that she can have time away from her brother and her brother can have time um, with his mum. Um, we do take the two of them sometimes, but not for more than one day. One night is enough for the two of them, to be honest with you. Um, and Lachlan probably is quite happy having his sister come to stay. He's alright if he has to stay, if he's been kind of like, if he knows his mum and dad are going somewhere. But um, if he got the choice to come and stay with us, with Freya and his mum was at home, he prefers to stay with his mum. But Freya loves to come over for a few days. So we've done that the last couple of years and they, they both enjoy that time apart. So Steve had bought these two kits, nail polish kits. Um, and my sister said, oh, could you bring over your nail polish? Because Freya's having her birthday party and it was amazing. Um, it was a spa day um, that she did, pyjama day as well. So she had ordered them all little spa slippers with their names on them. If you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I think you might, might have seen those. She had the hot tub running for them. She had set up a gazebo and had pedicures. They had their nails done. Um... There was a chocolate fountain, there was loads of food, it was brilliant. My sister was knackered at the end of it. Um, 
but when she said can you bring over your nail stuff I thought oh Steve's got this so in total with everything there was 59 items now I've included the leaflet the CD those things that I didn't actually give to my sister because she's trained in how to do nails um, and she was actually showing me what some of the things were for some of the brushes and the foils and things which is quite good but um Freya is going to keep all the little bits that I gave it to her and I gave it in a nice glossy box um, and I've, encounted, I've counted that in the items as well because that is something that I've decluttered from the house and it's not just a regular cardboard box either and she will reuse that so that's in there and it took me forever to set it all up all the little bits and the glitters and everything but um, that was good fun however as a result my sister said I'll need to go in the garage she stopped doing the beautician, the beauty therapy side of things and she's now working um, from home um, full time and she can manage to, to, to do the holidays, summer holidays might present a wee bit of a, an issue but most days she can manage between um, commitments at school and her husband's days off and her days off. Um, so she's packed away all her beauty therapy stuff into the garage and she kept her gels, um, you know the CMD and the... the um, shellac or shellac however you pronounce it she's kept all of that but she'd ordered the it's like the Vinylux but it's the CND it's the play creation and that's some of the colours there so it is the polish that I think it's the equivalent of the Vinylux 70 polish but you can do more things with this um, and she said to me at the end of the night you just take the the, the creation play um, CND polish away with you so I've ended up with a huge amount of similar colours nail polish um however they are absolutely gorgeous when you pop the top coat on they do have a kind of gel consistency um but i'll show you that in my next update <laughs> for my nails which is coming up soon my project polish and i said i wasn't going to be here talking too long um i did a box up for one of my cousins who's got a lot of girls um i put in seven eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter palette, a setting spray, under eye masks, a body lotion and a makeup bag. So there was 13 items there in total. Um, and in the secret giveaway, which Sue Lindsay won, uh, which I've still not posted Sue, but I will get posted tomorrow. Um, there is the, there was 19 items in there. So I did a video on that. If you want to go and see that, it is included in this um, next section coming up. So in total, there was 108 items giving away. In July, there was a total of 155 items decluttered. Now, I was actually thinking about it. I should probably match up the items that are coming into the house with those that are in the inventory and being decluttered as well. But um, they might not balance out, so I won't do that for now. So been keeping a running total here. I've already got another giveaway that I'm sending to uh, um, somebody who's just had a baby and it's just for them. I was looking on Etsy, I'm gonna do a, gonna send a gift pack and I thought I can make that up myself with all my products. So I started the month with 1810 minus 155. I finished the month with 1655. So I think that's quite good. I'm actually quite pleased with that and I think you know it might be tough but I do have another wardrobe refresh to do um I think Brandon's done a huge clear out of things um that can be included and by the time I actually take out the things that are going up to Stephen's house there'll be quite a lot of things in there so I am going to film them I won't get them up this time because he's not got a new his flat yet and I said I'm not going to take them up until you actually move into your new flat but I will box them up and I'll pop them in next month's video I think or Maybe just the things that I'm going to take up when I go and visit. I'm, I'm not sure, but there's quite a lot in there in terms of clothes, in terms of things like mugs and toiletries that I've bought on as well. So that will be quite a lot of items. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give it a good bash. <laughs> I'm going through all my pens and I'm like, is this a good writer? Will I use this again? Have I done something to the nib? I don't want to start throwing things out for the sake of it. So anyway, the next part is a video showing you everything that I've listed here. And I'll catch up with you soon. And I hope this motivates you to perhaps look at your stash, your, your house, your cupboards, and maybe do a wee declutter. It certainly did motivate me. Anyway, guys, hopefully next month there'll be more for the charity as well. There's one item, I think, <laughs> at the moment in the charity bag. Um, but I will be sorting out my wardrobe soon. Speak to you soon guys, bye! So the box that I keep all the things to declutter in was getting pretty full so I thought I would do one quick video and I can throw it all out. So there's a few old hair ties, an old nail scrubber, a razor, a pen that I think I've pushed the nib in too far, 
an old dish towel, a face mask that's been hanging around for years. I um, Air freshener just doesn't seem to work. I've tried other lids on it and I don't know. It feels full but nothing's coming out. A scrub that I can't use anymore and um, four <laughs> pumice sponges. So I eventually got the stone that works and this Fudge Professional Clean Blonde, um, it's the Violet Toning Shampoo and um, it ends up staining everything that it touches. So I just decided to kind of <laughs> cut my losses with that. So this is the first lot of items that I'm clearing out. No doubt as the month goes on, I will have more. So this is the first um, selection of things that I'm giving away this month. There's an Anika um, mascara, a number seven gloss, a couple of um, brassy blonde shampoos. I'm just gonna pass those on to my sister because she's recently had her hair lightened. A little Elemis, I'll pass it on to Brandon. There's a lavender pillow spray, some invisible bulbs, the um, Revolution Lift and Define, those are going to Antonia. The CeraVe, I can actually pass it on to Steve because it's for um, rough, bumpy skin. So he sometimes gets that. The Bondi Sands Tan and Water is definitely going to my sister. And the Tan Lux Super Glow um, Drops. And I'll be popping the things from my sister in the ASOS box. So I'm actually going to include that in items that we've gotten rid of. Or, that's maybe the wrong word, that we've given away. So I'm just doing this, um, I've just popped all this on here. It's two kind of nail polish sets. Steve had picked them up for when Freya came to stay. I think he'd ordered them um, online. And it just so happened that they arrived the day after my sister said to me, I don't have any regular polishes. She just has the shellac, the gel ones. Um, and she said, would you be able to bring any over? So when these arrived, I took them all out of the box and I said to Steve, I said, it would be ideal for our party. Um, so I'll take them over there and then um, Kirsty can do with the, what, them, kind of what she wants afterwards. But there's a nice wee kind of <laughs> wee nail dryer as well as the foils and um, lots of little tubs of kind of like um, glitter and strands and you know there's kind of little stars and um foils and things like that and different tools and brushes um so <laughs> there's also this which i thought was cute it's all kind of like different like fruits and things so yeah i won't actually count each one of these as an individual otherwise i'll probably be finished my um 2021 um but i'll just count this as one um, but I will have to kind of <laughs> go through everything and count them up. I'm also going to put it in a Look Fantastic box just so it's all together. But I will include the boxes that they came in because I'm decluttering those as well. So, yep, um, when I do my roundup at the start, I'll, I'll top up all the numbers there. But this kind of makes a good dent into um, my decluttering. So I'm pleased with that. Um, just kind of taking out a wee bundle that I'm going to send off to a friend. So there's five palettes, a highlighter palette, a couple of under eye masks, a body lotion. Oh, the Revolution Bunny, I forgot about that. And the Ciati um, Watermelon Spray. Just really isn't for me that, that watermelon spray. So I'd rather somebody could put that to use. So, yep, I'm fast kind of trying to sort things out. Um... I feel like I'm getting there but I think I've been ordering quite a lot so I still feel a wee bit overwhelmed so I really need to sort it all out. So I thought I'd better pull together the items for my secret giveaway and include it in this one because I will have given it away um, by the time I come to upload this so it won't be spoiling any surprises. So there's Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, there's Sunday Riley Cream, there's Professional, there's a pomegranate sleep mask, there's a Bobbi Brown um, mascara, there's two lip masks, two eye masks, um, there's Neil Jard, there's more Philip Kingsley, there's a Gorgeous Revolution Pro um, Ultimate Eye Pile Palette, there's Steve Laurent, um, there's Lashes, there's Clarins, there's Glam Glow, um, so I'm really looking forward to kind of pulling all the names in the hat and um, seeing who wins this one. I'm not going to spend too long going through this section. This is my empties and I think I counted up and there was 30 items. <laughs> 